Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to measure viscosity through an example. And we're going to be doing that using these concentric cylinders here. So there is a fluid in between the two cylinders uh, which rotates. The inner cylinder is free to rotate while the outer cylinder is fixed. And we use that to measure viscosity. So uh, th there is a, a torque applied to the inner cylinder of 0.15 Newton meters. Um, and that rotates the inner cylinder at 500 revolutions per minute. We're asked to find the kinematic viscosity um, given that the velocity equals the angular velocity times the radius. So this omega here is angular velocity and we're given a density. So we're going to need to find the dynamic or absolute viscosity before we can find the kinematic viscosity and we're going to be doing that using Newton's law of viscosity, which is shear stress equals um, mu times du on dy. So looking at a small section of the cylinders, this is the inner cylinder here, the outer cylinder. The velocity profile, because we can assume it is a Newtonian fluid, uh, shear stress will relate direct, will be directly proportional to du on dy. So we can assume that our mu is constant, so it will be a linear relationship. So as we hopefully expected, it is a linear relationship. So at the because it's a no slip, the, there are no slip conditions at the boundaries at this interface. We have the same velocity at as the inner cylinder and at the outer cylinder interface we have the velocity of the outer cylinder which is zero. So angular velocity is measured in radians per second and we need to convert the revolutions per minute we were given in the question which is 500 we need to convert that to radians per second. So 500 RPM, we can convert that quite easily to radians per second. We need revolutions per second first, so 500 divided by 60 radians per second, which is further um, converted by multiplying by 2 pi. So there are 2 pi radians in a, in a revolution, so that will equal 2 pi times 500 on 60 radians per second, giving us a final answer of 52.4 radians per second is our angular velocity. We know our r equals 0.1.